Hello folks, Mundane Man here again. And today I am at the in-laws house where um, we're going to be tackling a job with their weeping tile drain that uh, the flapper seems to be seized up. They had a bit of a sewer back up the other day and uh, the plumber was here and snaked out the sewer but in the process of that they somehow discovered that the uh, weeping tile drain was not working properly. So. I'm going to try and attempt to uh, open up the weeping tile access and uh, see if we can get that flapper uh, unseized because it's pretty rusted apparently. So this is where it is. This is the access point. Excuse the bad light here. With older homes, this house is about 50 years old, um, the weeping tile around the house or French drain basically goes around the house at the base of the foundation and then comes into a common point uh, which is this location here and that flap will open if there's any water around the foundation and then head out into the into the, uh, the sewer system with theirs being seized up any water that may be around the foundation could be trying to seep its way in through some kind of hydrostatic pressure or whatever so by having that flap um, closed off like that it's going to prevent the water from getting into the sewer so we're going to we're going to attempt to rectify that First thing I'm going to do is I get some of this WD-40 rust release penetrant. I'm going to give those uh, nuts a squirt, give them a chance to maybe come off a little bit easier. I know the left one they had trouble getting off and they actually couldn't get it off. Usually you'll find this access point on the side of your house in the basement that's nearest the uh, sewer exit. And in their case, it happens to be on the front of their house. And the sanitary sewer is basically going out that way. So let's see if we can get this cover off. This left one, the whole stud is... Uh, turning so we may not be able to get that one out but we should be able to get the cover off which we did here so basically your cover's got a an o-ring around it to keep it sealed because you will get sewer gases coming up from there so let's have a look in there it is rusty and you can hardly tell that there's a flap there there's all kinds of desbris in there so to me it looks like uh there may have been a backup in there and putting a lot of uh, debris in there from maybe the sewer. So, down here is the flap. I don't know if you can see with my arm in there. And that flap is seized right up. So what I'm going to try and do is try and get some of this debris out of here, but it is in here like cement. So this could take a while. I'm just going to try and chip away at it and see how far I get. I'm going to have to go get a shot back and get some of this out of here too. This is going to take a bit. Let me play with it for a bit and I'll get back to you. spot just at the below the the uh, flap is where the water would be going into the storm sewer it's actually not the storm sewer it's a sanitary sewer so I was able to get a bunch of crap out of there so far just want to make sure it feels pretty plugged too so that could be a problem Now, let's keep working it. Okay, we've got the flap freed up. I'm surprised uh, no water came out of it, but 
could be too early in the season here it's only april we haven't had a lot of rain or anything so there might not be any water in and around the foundation at this point uh, one thing i'm concerned about is the drain side of it i want to make sure that if any water does come off the weeping tile that it can still uh, drain off so i need to uh, poke around in there a bit another thing i'm going to do here before i try and scope out the drain side of the uh, the clean out is I'm going to take some a wire brush and uh, see if I can scrape off some of the stuff within the drain there. I got this extension for my drill so that you know I can have it down that far and uh, um, not be busting my knuckles trying to get it in there. So let's get that going. So we got this rod and the whatever implement you're putting in there goes in that part of the rod just got to it comes with an allen wrench you can back off the the set screws get that right in there like such and just crank down on these set screws so that it keeps it in place so it doesn't the brush doesn't spin around while you're trying to do your cleanup work then just put this in the old drill Get her in there and let's go scrub out the drain. Oh, look at the dust coming off of that. Okay, I'm gonna do this two-handed, so, and put my drill on high speed. run the vacuum at the same time. Now you can tell what the flap actually looks like now. And let's see if it opens and closes more. Okay, the problem I'm having now is I do have the flap mostly free. It can open about an inch. There's the way the uh, casting is here. It's very difficult to get the flap to open anymore, but um, I think from years of just buildup, where the water is meant to go into the uh, the sanitary sewer is plugged up. So I've been poking away at it. I need something to go in there deeper. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go get a snake or if I can see find something around the house just to try and uh, start shoving down that drain and uh, loosening up the debris. Let's try the old pokey-ended uh, hanger trick here. Getting little bits at a time. That stuff has been in there for a long, long time. Okay, well I decided to try and get a little cheap auger here just to see if I can break up some of the silt and stuff that's in that drain that looks like has been there for a hundred years. So I'm going to give that a try. Just for fun, let's pour some water down there and see what happens. Maybe it'll soften up some of the crud in the drain. It does drain very slowly though. Oh, 
one more and see if that softens anything up. Not draining that well now. Making some progress here, but not much on the drain. Um, but I do have the lid to the weeping tile open now. And I'm just going to, let's get a little bit more light in there. I'm going to clean off the flap where the weeping tile comes into the uh, drain here. And just try and clean it up so hopefully it won't stick shut again. I'm just going to use my wire brush again on my drill. Just try and scrape the edges of this flap. Clean it up as much as we can. Well, it's day two of this drain cleaning and weeping tile flap clean out, trying to get this fixed up so that there's no uh, pressure against the foundation. And here's where I've gotten so far. Um, I have the flap out and all cleaned up. And we'll put that back in soon enough. Got the drain all cleaned out to the weeping tile. What is left now is to clean out the drain that is going to the sewer system and I've been having a heck of a time with that I've used this thing which seems to have worked the best surprisingly enough even though it's not the tool for the job I've uh, used uh, a little uh, snake here and that hasn't seemed to to do it so the next thing I'm gonna try is I have some BX cable here now don't judge me I'm trying to clean this out with the stuff that I have around the house and this is fairly stiff but flexible so I am hoping that I can just kind of ram this into the drain and break up some of the uh, sediment that's in there so let's give this a try I'm kind of giving up hope on this thing just the amount of effort it is but it's just a, it's the stuff that's in there is just like shale or minerals of some sort just years and years of buildup Okay, I worked it and worked it for about at least an hour here. And I've been augering by hand with this piece of BX wire. Now I've switched to water. And I've been forcing water through there and that seems to be, it seems to be uh, taking it and let it run through. So I'm just going to keep pumping some water through there. Hopefully it's not sinking through my rag plug there, but uh, most of the water seems to be flowing towards the sewer, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to keep uh, pushing water through it. Okay, I took my rag plug out of the uh, weeping tile side and some of the water did backflow into the weeping tile which is not a bad thing the water does drain off to where it is below the uh, where the flap will sit so um, I'm confident that this drain even though slow will work you're not going to get a lot of water runoff off of the uh, weeping tile anyways hopefully you shouldn't at, at any rate the drain does work very slow at the start, but then it does weep off eventually. I'm just going to clean that out and then we'll go on to the process of putting the flap back in. 
Okay, now to prevent this from sticking again, I'm going to put some grease around the lip of this. This will help prevent it from uh, binding up on the, uh, the drain itself and uh, prevent, prevent it from rusting as well. So we're putting it around the uh, edge of the flap and on where it, where it hinges into the uh, drain itself. Some people use Vaseline, I'm just using some general grease. Now let's just set it back into the uh, access area here. Okay, the flap is back in. This is the uh, hinge point at the back of the drain. And the flap is sitting over the hole to where the uh, water would come in from the uh, weeping town. You can see it's nice and loose in there, not stuck or anything. And it lifts up nice and easy. Now, like I said before, the water should only trickle in there from your weeping tile. If you've got good grading especially, the water did drain off into the uh, sewer system eventually. Um, I'm kind of concerned about this drain, but if for some reason, you know, gallons and gallons of water should pour in there, it will hit the uh, sewer eventually. There is some standing water that takes a while to seep away anyways, but... Overall, this job should be pretty much done. Bit of a chore, bit of a challenge, more than I expected, but um, that's what usually happens when you're dealing with 50-year-old uh, plumbing and stuff. Now, this is the, uh, the cover for the access point, and it does have a gasket on it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lithium grease on, on both sides of it. First, I'm going to clean it up a bit and then put some lithium grease on it so that it uh, has a nice seal around this lid. This lid has seen better days, but it'll still work. Um, we just want to make sure there's a good seal on here so that we're not getting any uh, sewer gases coming up. There's no trap in the drain going back to the uh, sewer, so you will smell some gas coming up here if you don't seal it off properly. So basically all I did was scrape around the uh, outer edge with a wire brush, sprayed it with some WD-40 just to uh, clean it up. Same with the gasket. It's getting a little hard, so I sprayed it with some WD-40 and cleaned it off. Now I'm just going to put some lithium grease on that gasket. Excuse me while I get my grease here. So I'm just going to put a bead around the lid here. And let's set the gasket on that. And then I'm going to put some more on the gasket. As you can see, I'm being ever so careful here. Now, I was not able to uh, get this nut off. It just kept spinning the uh, rod that's gone into the drain. And... I don't think I can get, I'm not even sure if there's a nut on the uh, other side of that. So I'm just going to put it back the way I found it by uh, slipping it underneath. Now this piece here too, I'm not sure if that should be. Oh, I know that is the, uh, what used to be the lip on the, uh, on the lid here. So let's just... Slip it underneath that washer there. Try and keep our gasket in place. Actually, I'm missing the smaller washer for that. Let me spray that too. <clears throat> rust release 
WD-40 just to keep it in pristine condition. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a, a smaller washer for that just to give it just to give it something to attach to. And a brass nut. I think it's brass anyways. Turned green, so. And hopefully these threads aren't too gnarled up. Now you don't want this too tight. You want it to seal the get around the gasket here. But you don't want it to snap off the the studs. I think that's it. And this one I'm pretty sure won't move. It's just turning the whole thing. But that lid is in there good and proper. And when you finish a job, make sure you clean up after yourself. This was kind of a dirty one for sure. It made all kinds of mess. Well, that's it for this edition of Mundane Man, where we uh, freed up the flap on the weeping tile to allow it to drain into the sewer system so that water doesn't build up against the foundation. The last thing you want to do is create that hydrostatic pressure and uh, have water be forced in any cracks that it can find. Um, we did have a lot of trouble with that drain. It's still not cleared out. I'm not sure if it collapsed or not or what, but if I force water through it, it does drain. So um, weeping tile generally only uh, is at a trickle anyways, especially if your uh, um, grading is appropriate and the water is running away from the house. So, and when I opened it up, the uh, weeping tile was dry, which is either A, a good thing, there's no water sitting in the weeping tile, or B, a bad thing that it's collapsed somewhere around the house, which is uh, a common thing. Back in the day, they used clay pipe, and uh, it would break down and collapse, and then you wouldn't get the proper drainage. But they're not showing any signs of uh, water seepage anywhere, which is a good thing. So that's it for this edition. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, share. Maybe let me know down below how you would have handled some of that drain issue and how you would have cleaned it out. So that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.